Hey there, I'm Chris Kroll, Editor-in-Chief of Solar Builder Magazine. Home energy storage systems continue to add capacity and power while reducing installation complexity. A good example is Mango Power M, an all-in-one home backup power system that the company says can be installed and commissioned in four hours or less. Here to make the pitch today is Chris Cashin, Head of Tech Support for Mango Power. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Yes, you as well. Thank you for having me. I wanted to start our discussions by looking, you know, at the Mango Power M. What, what main p components of the system do you want to point me to? Yeah, so the system is really comprised of, of three primary components, if you will. So the, the M or the hybrid inverter, uh, kind of what ties everything together. So the connection point to the house uh, and the connection system to the, the other two components. So the, the second of that is the M cabinet. Uh, which houses the the battery packs. So they're five kilowatt hour uh, CATL uh, battery packs. It's a twelve kilowatt uh, continuous and twenty four peak hybrid inverter. Like as you mentioned, Mango Powers seems to be uh, one of the only manufacturers really like promoting its use of CATL LFP battery cells, which seems like a good selling point to me. Could you explain, you know, what you like about the CATL batteries? I like the whole uh, concept of uh, standing on the, the shoulders of giants. Uh, CATL is the, the world's largest. Uh, they make over a third of the market share of uh, batteries for EV production. And have been around kind of over for over a decade just as a, a battery manufacturer. Uh, so being able to leverage that technology, especially as a newer entrant in the market, really gives us a, you know, a competitive edge and something to stand on that you know, backs the quality of the product. Energy storage as a whole is still an emerging market and a lot of new entrants into it. So it's great to be able to have that uh, brand alongside our brand uh, to, to back what could be you know, a 15 year or 20 year investment uh, for customers. So let's uh, walk through the, the specs a little bit more. The Mango Power M can provide 12 kilowatts of continuous power and the uh, 24 kilowatts uh, peak power output, as you mentioned. Can you just explain why both of those numbers are important? Yeah, so as people, you know, tend to move towards the, the, the push for electrification as a whole kind of moves across the nation, everything is going to be powered uh, by your know, electricity in your house. So the ability to start like an air conditioner or a heat pump uh, is becoming more common now or electric hot water heaters uh, requires a very high uh, inrush current on an inverter. So having those values uh, really allows the customer to, you know, back up the whole house and still be able to use uh, the things in their house that they want to relatively conservative uh, if the power goes out, but it still gives them the option to actually be able to use them. Along with that, it has like a 200 amp bypass in it so that the inverter can just go into a bypass mode uh, if it needs to, you know, while still connected to the grid, allowing their house to, to run like normal. And then on the entering new solar, yeah, you can add up to 18 kilowatts of, of direct DC coupled PV. So it'll accept both AC coupled and DC coupled uh, not just one or the other, you can technically have both. And I noticed that the minimum battery storage capacity is 15 kilowatt hours. Uh, and can that be expanded, you know, if I want to add more down the road? Yeah, so one of the things that kind of a blessing for the installer and then also for the consumer as well is the battery cabinet is a modular design. So our battery packs are five kilowatt hours, BMS, the, the storage, everything is built into it. And they slide into the cabinet uh, on like a wrapping style system. Uh, and then, yeah, up to 20 kilowatt hours in a single cabinet. And then the cabinets can be paralleled to a single border up to 80 kilowatt hours. I was cautious people of is, you know, how long does that actually last when you're running all those things for? So uh, you can start them all, but how, how many hours or how many you know, are you looking to run all those things in a, in a power outage? Um, and having a lot of these conversations and going over kind of similar specs. And so I'm just like really like going to hold your feet to this one. You know, what, what makes the M Mango Power M stand out, you know, in this field to you? Definitely the longevity or the quality of the batteries is 6,000 cycles at a 70% retention. So what that works out to it, in a customer's mind or, or less technically is going to be about 20 years uh, of a charge and discharge pattern every day. And then aside from that, the power of the inverter to actually be able to run the house rather than having to combine you know, multiple systems that uh, you can parallel multiples of our inverters. So they are able to be combined uh, into, you know, a number of other configurations. So you can parallel it technically up to 10 inverters, uh, as well as you can do like a three phase power configuration, or there is still some customers out there that have 208 volts as well, which is you know, one of the other kind of standout features that isn't too prevalent in the market right or relevant, sorry, in the market right now, 
is the ability to support a 120 208 voltage alongside 120 240. When it comes to the warranty, does, is, the, is it warrantied through Mango? Is it is there is, is that part warrantied through CATL? How does, how does that work? Yeah, so we have a, a direct uh, working or business agreement, I guess you could say, with, with CETL to be able to use their, their logo, of course, on our product. So it's not a secret. It's kind of something to, to be proud of. Uh, but yeah, all the warranty is still directly facilitated through us uh, as the, the product manufacturer. So the the hook I mentioned up top, the Mango Power M can be installed in a commission in under four hours with two people. Uh, I was hoping you could explain you know, some of the design uh, that went into making that a possibility. The main premise behind it is a more of a modular approach to design rather than uh, all in one system architecture. Uh, so that allows it to be lighter weight, you know, reducing the number of staff needed to install it. So you're now lifting the heaviest component that is just under 120 pounds, 119 pounds. Uh, and then after that, back to the modular battery packs and the cabinet that, that ships all as one to the job site. And then it allows the, the team, you know, two to progress through that rather than having a, a cabinet say that weighs over 200, over 300 pounds, some of them, uh, and it becomes a struggle point to lift for the installer. So it saves man hours, you know, not only on the number of staff, uh, but then that modular design kind of similar to, if you imagine factory or uh, assembly work, everything is modular and, and broken down into segments. It allows the process to, to speed up uh, and finalize the project faster. Yeah, and what about on the, the commissioning side? Yeah, so the commissioning side, so the system uh, is designed basically to operate in kind of three, uh, modes, if you will. So a backup mode where the customer is just really looking to prioritize allowing the system to charge uh, from the sun or from power whenever it's available. And then they have a self-consumption mode uh, where the system is connected to, to solar is going to prioritize solar and, and then battery and then lastly a grid to make up uh, any shortfalls or, or a time of use mode. So something that's becoming you know more prevalent across uh, consumers' bills, uh, whether they know or not, is time of use billing. Yeah, it's been interesting to watch the home storage space evolve from you know, the solar side of things where where it was, you know, sell a solar system maybe with a hybrid inverter to future-proof the system to expand into energy storage, expand the system with batteries later. But with how utilities are changing their rate structures and going to more time of use, maybe that older approach is old now. I mean, just the solar market as a whole, a lot of companies that traditionally we're just installing solar only and maybe passing up batteries uh, have started to come around to see the benefit of adding it one they can offer a, a customer more of a, like a more of a holistic approach the, the financing models don't really work that well anymore for solar only integration yeah uh they can also downsize the size of the solar system needed you know instead of having to uh, size the system at 100 percent plus like 35 percent to, to make the offset say for example work uh, in a grid tied system, they can now you know, go to a much smaller solar system, you know, at a lower cost to the customer and then give them battery backup kind of to fill that, that, that maybe that cost difference that they had before kind of future proof their electricity bill because time of use billing and the transition towards electrification is happening. And one of the other kind of exciting things, I guess, is, is the involvement that utility companies are starting to play in that they're starting to incentivize customers to install batteries as part of either pilot programs. I mean, Illinois is a really good example. They have ComEd, one of their utilities will provide up $6,000 incentive towards the cost of a battery to go on to like a time of use billing. So we recently also published an article on the growing portable power market and how this might be an opportunity for customers who don't want to pay for the full grid tied battery backup, um, but you don't want some sort of backup opportunity, you know. And, you know, I've noticed you have a portable power station, the Mango Power E. The, the base unit uh, is 3.5 kilowatt hours uh, and 3,000 watts uh, or 3 kilowatts of output. It's the same CATL batteries that we use uh, in our whole home product. So you can expand the base unit to another 3.5 kilowatt hours. Uh, so up to 7 kilowatts in that configuration. And then it kind of has a couple variations. You can pair it with another a base unit and then you can power a 240 split phase generally like a small heat pump or a mini split air conditioner that you find in an apartment it's more geared as a an essential load uh backup so i have one in my apartment uh, it's connected to my refrigerator and then my home office if you will so my modem so that way that the, the power goes out or even planned power to just happen in the city and then you know i can still continue to work from home and everything in my fridge is going to be fine and you can 
you know, plug your coffee machine into it, make coffee, and you know you can. I can take it camping on the weekend, or it's not just sitting there in the event of an emergency. So, so in addition to Mango Power M and Mango Power E, you also offer energy storage solutions specifically designed for commercial and industrial applications. Uh, can you give me a little bit of details on those two? Yeah. So. Again, the same thing across all of our product line is the CATL battery. It's more of like a customizable option. There's kind of two form factors. There's an individual containerized uh, a battery cabinet. It's a 232 kilowatt hours, and then there'd be a separate DC combiner and PCS, or, or there's a form factor that's like, it's like a 20 foot shipping container and everything's integrated uh, into that solution. So yeah, so that's good to know. You cover a lot of bases um, for the installers in our audience that are interested. Where should they go to start installing mango power Are you selling direct through distribution you know what, what what channels should they look for you on yeah so we have agreement through uh, several distribution channels and we have inventory of our own uh, in warehouses uh, in the u.s uh, as well here in puerto rico yeah happily work through our existing distribution partners or they can reach out directly to us through mangopower.com we can ship directly to their job sites which tends to be a pretty popular model for installers they don't want to you know hold inventory for a lot a lot of things maybe some smaller components but uh we will drop ship essentially if you will uh the system to their installation location and then that way they can show up outside and then we'll facilitate uh, the training and everything certification beforehand what are what are lead times like these days generally i would say about five to ten business days per time the order process it through and then shipping uh to the to the customer's house yeah i just like that you all have aligned with you know a, a strong battery brand and are offering that uh, to the industry and um, just really cool learning about it today. So thanks for taking the time to make the pitch today. Yeah. Thank you as well, Chris. Have a great day.